four assisted living facilities. One Tampa woman never gave up on her dreams of being a business owner, and she is not alone. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd has more on this milestone year for women and minority owned businesses. Well, I'm at Annie's assisted living facility where LaTanya treats every resident like they're her own grandmother because that's who inspired her to pursue this business. LaTanya Boykins doesn't know where she would be without her grandmother, Annie, who raised her and her four siblings after LaTanya's mother died when she was only 16. She just said, guys, you come with me. I don't have money. I got a lot of love. I got a clean house. Few mice running around, but the cats will get them. Growing up poor, LaTanya said she didn't have time to dream. She was too busy trying to survive. But she always knew she wanted to honor her grandmother for taking such good care of her. I told her that I was going to get a facility one day. I said, Grandma, I'm going to get a facility and you're going to stay in it. And she's like, I'm not that old. Annie died in 2013, but that didn't stop LaTanya. In 2020, she opened Annie's assisted living facility. Everything reminds me of my grandmother and doing this business everything laughing with my residents taking care of them sometimes they'll say stuff i just laugh because i'll think about her latonya has gone on to open three more facilities her grandmother may have inspired the business but she says it was bay first bank that made it a reality they didn't say where would you what prestigious college you went to what this what that they wanted to know about my grandmother so far this year, Bay First has distributed more than $160 million in loans through their new minority lending program. Don't squash your own dream, you know. Bring it forward and let someone that can see it and help you advance it because it's maybe a lot easier than you think. LaTanya says her grandmother may have missed out on living at one of her facilities, but every resident who does will know her story. She's up there mm -hmm. <laughs> kicking and jumping and screaming and... She's, she's truly, truly proud. In Tampa, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.